So we've walked about a couple of miles uh, south east of Elgol to Prince Charlie's Cave. This is where Charlie hid when he uh, spent his last night in the island sky before heading back over to the Hebrides. Here he was with the chief of the McKinnon, John McKinnon, and another John McKinnon, and four boatmen. He didn't sleep in here, but he did have a meal in here. It's the last meal on the island. And this marked the end of his journeys in the, the islands of the west. From here he'd head over to the, the mainland, landing quite near uh, Malig. Absolutely incredible spot. One of those where the camera just doesn't do it justice. And it goes away in there for something like 50 yards. The cave is not unaffected by the tide, but to get here, the tide's got to be out. So once you're in, you're really quite secure. But fantastic spot. You could have picked a better day for it. The egg there and rum just sticking out. There was egg and rum. So you'd have probably launched from that foreshore there and head just around the corner towards my lake. You can see it's quite a, quite a distance. And he did make it, of course. And after that, he'd have, two, he'd have two, two months yet on the run on the mainland before he did get the ship back to France. So that's the Prince's Cave near Elgol. Has to be seen to be believed. Fantastic. Bit of a climb up, but well worth it. Well worth it. Walk along from the, the point there to the cluster again. It's not the first cave, or the second. It's the third one up there. You have to climb up to it. Quite easy to find. And when you're inside, of course, of that huge cavern. So, you could probably make it along the coast here after the tide's been going maybe just a couple of hours. So, yeah. Yeah, it's no difficult bit as the, as the climb up there. It's not too difficult. So that's it. This Charlie's cave. And as I said, the weather. Fantastic. Well, that's a settlement of Elgol. We're just heading back. Yep, what a view. Cooling sky, 